Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for September. So keep in mind that this could happen at any time in September. So what do we have for Scorpio? We got one that came out. What do we have for Oh, there we go. We got three total. First card out is ladder, climbing towards success. So you are climbing towards success. Hills, obstacles to overcome. There's going to be some challenges. There always is when you're climbing the ladder to success. There's challenges. That's how you become successful. You need those experiences. Wail, great, great worry over nothing. So you're worrying about something. You are going to be successful over these obstacles. Yeah, there's going to be some, but you're going to find the strength and the determination to overcome them. So that's a good thing. Great worry over nothing. So you may be worried that you're not going to be successful. You are going to be successful. You know, as you climb up the ladder, it gets harder and harder and harder. Okay? It does. Don't give up. Don't give up because the more, the higher you climb, the more responsibilities you get, right? The more knowledge you have, the more people seek you out. So yeah, it's not going to be easy, but you are climbing. You're climbing and yeah, there's going to be obstacles. There is. Don't worry about it. Just keep going. Don't go down. Go up. Keep going up. So what do we have for Scorpio? Ooh, the end. So something is ending. There is an ending here. I mean, the card speaks for itself. Something is coming to an end. Drop the weight. So there's something that is weighing you down. Okay, you need to drop this weight. Could be literal, literal weight, but it could be something that else that is weighing you down. Something that you need to let go of. It you need. It's time to fly. Maybe it's time for you to fly. It's time to fly. I just heard that song by Ario Speedwagon. It's time for me to fly. Taurus. Some of you are dealing with a Taurus. Um, now you gotta keep. Now that somebody else could be flying. Maybe that Taurus is the dead weight. I don't know. Unfaithful. We got somebody here that is unfaithful. Taurus is all about stability, though. Taurus is all about financial stability, security. Um, Taurus is very laid back. So maybe this has to do with your financial stability and just trying to control your temper. I mean, you may have to control your temper during this time. Uh, hmm. There's probably the end of a relationship with somebody that has Taurus in their chart. It's over. It's completely, completely, completely over. Maybe that was the weight. And, and weight can be literally pressure. Okay, and can just be like, oh my God, I'm s maybe this person has been causing you a lot of pressure or a lot, a lot of tension and this weight is about to be lifted. And what do we have? What do we have for Scorpio? Or maybe it has been lifted. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Someone from your past is returning to your life. There could be a reconciliation. Now that could be with somebody you live with. You know what I mean? It could be a family member, but it could be, you know, somebody, somebody is reconciling with somebody from their past. Children are a factor here. So, so there's something going on with children. Your love life is being affected by children. Hmm. There is a reconciliation here. Somebody is reconciling with somebody from their past. Could be a child. Could be, it could be, it doesn't even have to be you. It's somebody in your circle 
could be somebody that you live with that is go going to be having a reconciliation. We definitely have an ending here, okay, with the Ten of Swords. This is the death of a situation, the end, it's over, goodbye. Seven of Pentacles, there could be a relocation here. Somebody may be relocating. Um, there could be some seeds that were planted a long time ago that are coming back to coming around. You know, it's time, it's fruition, it's a time of fruition. This is a card of investment. Is it worth it? Should I, should I invest? Should I go someplace else? That could be on your mind. You could be dealing with somebody that is going to be investing in something else, someplace else. This is like, should I stay or should I go? Is this, is it worth it? What should I do? But this is a major ending of something. It's the end of suffering. So if there has been some suffering, somebody could be relocating, you know, that brings relief. The end, the end, the end. Drop the weight, drop the weight. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Now, some of you think, you think, it's, it's interesting because I know exactly what this is. I got, I know that there is one person in particular that is watching this that thinks that she's going to have a reconciliation with her Taurus. That's your dead weight. It's over. Anyhow, um, what do we have? What do we have for Scorpio? Maybe that's what the thought is because the end is mirroring the reconciliation card. makes complete sense you this is like somebody that is and it feels like this is deja vu it feels like I've given this reading before it's like the end is mirroring the it's like this is over it's done it's it's done it's done let go it's time to fly it's time to fly it's time to spread your wings okay Seven of Wands reversed. It's interesting. Seven of Wands. Seven of Cups. Justice. Could be dealing with Libra. Justice. Knight of Swords reversed. Ace of Swords. Ace of Pentacles reversed in the future. High Priestess reversed. Ten of Swords reversed. Three of Cups. King of Cups reversed on the bottom. Unable to master emotions. Illusion. Delusional. Uh... Dealing with somebody that's not emotionally unavailable. I feel I feel like you need to master your emotions. Emotions all over the place, not grounded. We got somebody here that's not grounded. Uh, there is pro there could be news of legalities here. There's could be an unplanned loss. There's nothing stable. The, the very future card is the Ace of Pentacles reversed. <clears throat> Losing something of value. This is an unplanned loss. There is some sort of unplanned loss here. Ten of Swords reversed right underneath it. I feel like we have somebody below you is the Three of Cups. It's a third party situation. I think that that's already happened. And there's it's like a reunion. I feel like we have somebody here that has been, you know, maybe they received some poor advice. High Priestess reversed in the past, you know, to hold on to an unrequited love situation. They were unaware, unaware, high priestess reverse, that's poor advice, maybe from a psychic, a tarot reader, you know, uh, somebody that's, that is giving them poor advice, poor counsel, high priestess reversed, somebody that's not very awakened, that maybe uh, has been telling somebody that there's going to be a reunion causing confusion above the high priestess reverse is the seven of cups, that's confusion. That's in the past, though. I do believe that, the, and then we get the Knight of Swords reversed right in the middle, right in your position, the now position. That's like uh, dishonest. It's untrustworthy. And I think that you have received some poor advice from somebody. This is somebody that doesn't care who they hurt.
I feel like you've been standing your ground. You've been standing your ground. You've been, but now maybe you may be at a point where it's time to admit defeat with the Seven of Wands reversed and choose another option. I feel like you have other options here, but you have received some sort of information. The Ace of Swords is right. It's in the past. That's information. That's, that's you know, that's some sort of message. You've received some sort of message or communication from somebody, this High Priestess reversed that has given you poor information. Somebody has given you some poor information that has caused you a lot of confusion. This is somebody that is untrustworthy, that uh, doesn't care who they hurt. Knight of Swords reversed. I mean, this is a clueless, ignorant individual. I feel like you need to make a decision. You need to be honest with yourself. You need to be truthful with yourself. You need to stop holding on to seven of wands reverse. That's that step down. That's admitting defeat. That's walk away. Walk away. There's illusion here. There's illusion. There's confusion. There's another option. I feel like you've been missing. You know, it's a missed opportunity with the ace of pentacles reverse. You're missing a golden opportunity by suffering, allowing yourself to stay down, allowing yourself to stay put. It's like you, this is the ultimate betrayal it's like you've been betrayed by a third party situation we have a third party situation down here it's like hoping for a reunion with somebody i feel like you've received some advice you know to wait on a reunion you know this person's gonna come back and that's why the reconciliation card is here right isn't that the truth Not very practical with the Ace of Pentacles reversed to wait for somebody that, you know, left you for dead and, and doesn't communicate with you and gives you crumbs, you know, and fights with you and leaves you in this position and wants you to fight for them. It's caused you so much confusion. This person has chosen another option. Why, why, why would you allow this person to betray you over and over and over again? I feel like, I mean, in your challenge position, it's like you need to make, that's the justice card. You need to, you need to be honest with yourself. You need to make a decision based on the truth, the sword is the sword of truth, you know, and if it means that you have to let something go that isn't real, okay, next to it is the ace of pentacles reverse. It's not solid. It's not real. It's not secure. It's, 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 you know, and it's caused you a lot of pain. A lot of pain, a lot of pain. So I, I do feel like we have a departure here with the Knight of Swords reversed. I think that there's, there could be an argument. There could be a serious argument with the Seven of Wands reversed mirroring the uh, Knight of Swords reversed. There could be a dispute. There could be a fight. There could be a huge fight that causes a sudden departure or causes somebody to leave. We definitely have uh, somebody here that has hidden agendas with the High Priestess reversed that has you know, done something um, to cause confusion. Ten of Swords reversed. This is coming back from the dead. This And it's mirroring the High Priestess reversed. Oh, it's not over. It's not over. It's not over. Wait for a reunion. Wait for a reunion. It's illusion. It's fantasy. The Seven of Cups is about illusion. It's about fantasy. It is. There's consequences. Okay, this is a card of consequences. And it's in their past. There's consequences for listening to poor advice or to not being honest with yourself. That's mirroring the Justice card over there. I feel like you need to make a decision to choose another option. Or somebody else is making a decision to choose another option. They're letting something go with the Ace of Pentacles reversed. That's like letting it go. This is a lost opportunity. This is, this is, I feel like it's too late. It's too late. You may receive some information with the Knight of Swords that shocks you. It's a complete shock, the Knight of Swords reverse. Maybe somebody's been cheating. If this hasn't happened already, somebody something could happen. It's it's it, with the Knight of Swords reverse, it's a shock. It's a complete shock. A shocking ending with the Ten of Swords. This is liberation. It is freedom. 
be broken, breaking free, breaking free from a painful situation, letting it go. Maybe that's what you're deciding to do. Maybe you were unaware. Maybe you received poor counsel, you know, to hold on to a third party situation because somebody was feeding you fantasy and illusion. Maybe you've gotten some sort of a wake up call, you know, an awakening or gone through some sort of epiphany and we can only hope and pray. Anyhow, um, seven of wands reverse. That is admitting defeat, stepping down, giving up the position. Somebody is stepping down from a position. I feel like there's aggressive, an aggressive departure here. I do with the knight of swords reverse. It's very aggressive. I do feel like there's fighting here. The law could get involved. Their law could definitely, definitely get involved. Somebody, you know, uh, maybe you're trying to abuse their power. You know, they, they think that they're all mighty powerful, all high and mighty powerful. You know, they're trying to abuse their power. There's karma here. This could be a karmic contract. But you may have been confused. Somebody may have told you that it wasn't a karmic contract. The end, the end, drop the weight. It's time to be stable. You think about Taurus, Taurus, all about stability and security. You need to stabilize. And that King of Cups reverse is unable, it's not thinking clearly. It's in your emotions. You need to master your emotions. I think you have your heart set on somebody that is emotionally unavailable. And I do think there's tears. I think there's sadness. I think it's emotional. I feel like this is an emotional realization or an emotional truth that is coming out. The justice is a card of truth. It's like truth's being revealed. This this truth, I feel like this truth hurts. With the Knight of Swords reversed, it cuts, it cuts like a knife. I feel like you're gonna be receiving some information about somebody that really, really hurts. This person is out of control. It's out of control energy, the Knight of Swords reversed. That's out of control. It's a very clueless, rude, arrogant person who is doing something. Uh, they don't care who they hurt. It's like, and I feel like you're giving up. I feel like you, and I think you should, unfortunately. I think you need to give up on fighting for this person or who, or fighting with this person. It's only weighing you down. It's causing you stress. It hurts. It hurts really bad with the Ten of Swords reverse. Really, really, really bad. Okay, this is beyond help. It really is. I feel like uh, there's worse to come if you don't let go. There could definitely be a fight, a, a big, big, huge fight where the law gets involved. There's, there's denial here. You do have an obstacle to overcome. You do. You have to let somebody go that is not, I don't know if this person is cheating or whatever they're doing. They may be in another commitment. They may be married with the Three of Cups. Or they may be socializing with somebody else. This is somebody that is doing something without thinking. They don't care who they hurt. This, and it could even have something to do with drinking. You may be totally in the dark. It's interesting that I had to turn the lights off for this. And as those words came out of my mouth, I realized totally in the dark. Shock. Shocking information, shocking information is coming. Has to do with either friends or partying or socializing. Could have something to do with social media. You could be dealing with somebody that is reconciling with somebody from their past. Somebody is definitely choosing another option. It is definitely time to definitely final. It's finally, and this could be you making a final decision to let something go that really caused you a lot of suffering, caused you a lot of pain. I mean, the Ten of Swords reverse is like freedom. It's liberation from a painful situation. This is definitely the end.
There could be a fight where the law gets involved. Okay, just I don't know how that resonates. You may be completely unaware that that is coming. Somebody could be drinking, you know, they're drinking and things get out of control. That's not going to be for everybody, but... I feel like we have somebody here that is that is looking for a fight with the Knight of Swords reversed and the Seven of Wands. That's somebody that is looking for a fight. They're picking a fight, you know, and the, the, it's going to happen. I feel like there's also somebody here that has some chronic health problems. Could even be mental health problems. This person may use manipulation. You know, they try to manipulate things. Six of Swords reverse, Two of Pentacles, Judgment reverse. I wanted to get your person, okay? So I wanted this because I, I wanted to see about what your person is doing, okay? Whoever we're talking about, who you got on your mind. Six of Swords reverse, they're not going nowhere. They're, they are, there's no chance in, in reconciliation. Judgment reversed, there's no chance. Uh, this person is uh, juggling. This is a player. You're dealing with somebody that is a player. Six of, uh, two of pentacles. What's juggling? Juggling is a game. What's a game? Who plays games? Players. So you're dealing with a player that is playing games. This person is juggling two options. Probably you and somebody else. That's what I see. They have no intentions of leaving. Six of swords reversed. It's time for you to move on from that bad judgment call, okay? This person is totally um, in denial, okay? They're in denial. They don't want to be held accountable from, for, for their actions. They don't plan on being held accountable for their actions. They are not very awakened. They're not very spiritual. This person um, has no intentions of ending things wherever they're at, okay? They're not very aware. They're not very awakened. This person is so busy playing game that they games that they can't even see what's going on around them. This is a true player that you're dealing with. This person um, is able to juggle very, very well. Okay, they they are uh, they've been doing it for quite some time. Okay, they're able to go back and forth. Maybe they've been doing it with you for a while. I don't know. You're definitely dealing with somebody who is. Uh, able this person is able they have learned how to juggle both options or even maybe even many options with the seven of cups they, this is a true player you're dealing with this person is not going anywhere this is a troublemaker this person um, does not listen to any advice as long as they are still able to juggle both options or whatever these options are this person um, I feel like this person doesn't even feel guilty. They don't feel guilty. They don't have any remorse. They don't. They have no plans on leaving. Wherever they're at, they have no plans on leaving. They're not going anywhere. Six of Swords reversed. So if you're waiting for somebody to reconcile with you that is in a third party situation because you've received some poor advice from a tarot reader or a psychic or a medium or even your gut, stop. Let it go. Drop the weight. You have to be honest with yourself. Some of you have made a poor judgment call to hold on to somebody. You have. And you have another option here, but you have to be honest with yourself. Feels like you've been missing an opportunity. You're missing an opportunity with the Ace of Pentacles reversed by waiting for something to come back from the dead.
ten of, ten of Swords reversed, waiting for a reunion. Now this reading is not going to be for every single one of you. You need to be honest with yourself. Some of you need to really focus on your weight, focus on your self-value. Stabilize, get grounded, ground yourself. Think of that Taurus card. You know, some of you are, and maybe, 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 maybe there's a Taurus that wants to reconcile with you. And you need to say no. No. I got to be honest with you. I'm not interested. I mean, that could be the case. You could be a Scorpio where you have somebody that wants to reconcile with you. They want to come back. I don't see any love in these cards. Nope. There ain't any. There isn't any. I do think that there is going to be a fight, okay, or an argument, or there's going to be some words that are said. May even have something to do with somebody you live with. This may not be your story. It could have to do with a father. There's definitely hidden agendas here. We have somebody here that may have invested in a relationship or a contract just for financial stability and things are falling apart. This is a it's like a tower moment with the with the Knight of Swords reverse. This is a tower moment. Get prepared. The law could get involved whether it's the karmic law or the universal law. I do believe that there's going to be a massive uh change in position, put it that way. No forgiveness. Somebody could even end up in jail. I'm just being honest. Good luck.